missiles are advanced, self-propelled weapons designed to destroy targets with high precision. In many modern conflicts, attacks often begin with long-range missile strikes aimed at crippling vital enemy infrastructure, such as radar stations, air bases, communication hubs, and power facilities. To understand how these weapons function, we first need to distinguish the two main types of missiles, ballistic missiles and cruise missiles. Ballistic missiles follow a high, arcing trajectory, similar to artillery shells. They are powered by rockets that launch them into the upper atmosphere before they descend toward their target. The farther the target, the higher the missile must climb. In contrast, cruise missiles fly horizontally like aircraft. After being launched by rocket propulsion, they switch to jet engines, either turbojet or turbofan, to sustain flight. Some high-speed variants even use ramjet engines, allowing them to travel at hypersonic speeds. One of the key advantages of cruise missiles is their low flight altitude, which enables them to avoid early detection by enemy radar. By flying close to the ground, they can evade defenses until it's too late to intercept. Now, how do these missiles, whether ballistic or cruise, manage to strike their targets with such precision? The answer lies in a series of sophisticated guidance systems. Early missile designs used preset guidance, where the trajectory was pre-calculated based on distance and direction from the launch point. Nazi Germany's V-2 rocket used this system, relying on onboard gyroscopes and accelerometers to maintain its flight path. Small fins inside the nozzle could alter the direction of the rocket exhaust, allowing the missile to steer during flight. A more advanced technology is the inertial navigation system. This system continuously calculates the missile's position using sensors such as gyroscopes, accelerometers, timers, and onboard computers. Gyroscopes detect changes in orientation while accelerometers measure speed and acceleration. By applying the principle of dead reckoning, the missile can determine its current position based on previous movement. Modern INS devices are highly accurate, employing micro-electromechanical systems, MEMS for sensors, and ring laser gyroscopes for stability. Some even include barometric altimeters and magnetometers for additional corrections. Thanks to this technology, some missiles can remain accurate within just a few meters, even when traveling over 10,000 kilometers. Beyond inertial guidance, many modern missiles utilize satellite navigation systems like GPS, United States, GLONASS, Russia, or Beidou, China. Equipped with high-precision GPS receivers, these missiles can constantly update their real-time location and adjust their trajectory accordingly. However, because satellite systems are controlled by specific countries, access to these signals can be denied during wartime. To overcome this vulnerability, cruise missiles often employ TURCOM, terrain contour matching. This method uses detailed digital elevation maps and radar altimeters to measure the terrain below. By comparing these readings with stored maps, the missile can identify where it is and navigate to the target without GPS. This also allows the missile to fly along valleys and other natural contours, making it harder to detect and intercept. An even more sophisticated system is DSMAC, Digital Scene Matching Area Correlation, which uses satellite images of the ground for navigation. The missile compares real-time visual data with stored digital imagery, enabling it to follow complex paths and strike highly specific targets, even in urban environments. Modern missiles often combine several of these guidance systems, INS, GPS, TURCOM, and DSMAC, to achieve maximum reliability and accuracy. With these technologies working together, Today's guided missiles are among the most precise and deadly weapons on the battlefield.